I need sex like Carlos needs mess. Girl! Okay, okay, okay. So y'all heard what he said, right? Y'all heard what he said? <clears throat> Let's get this thing going. Be Hey, 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 everybody, and welcome back to Tea Talk with your girl. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Listen, if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button so we can get to know one another. Like this video, share this video. But most of all, remember that all things on the channel are just alleged and in my opinion, y'all. That's right. They are in my opinion. It's my view that I have or whatever I might have heard, seen, or whatever, okay? So tonight, baby, can we just talk about Maurice and his need for sex can we talk about it because i thought sex was a want did i say all things on the channel was alleged i know i did but i'm gonna say it again isn't that a want a desire but a need like i need food to live i need fluids to keep me going okay I need a job so that I can pay the bills that I've acquired, okay? I need to have clothes on so that I don't walk around naked. But if I want to make love to my husband, that's a want. That's not a need. We don't need that stuff to survive. So baby, you mean to tell me, Maurice, you mean to tell me, y'all, you mean to tell me that you need to have sex even though your wife is sick? Her body is going through changes that she don't even understand, but you still need to have sex? Y'all, look, let's listen to some of this. Let's listen to some of this mess, and then I'm going to come back with some more commentary. People are reading you for filth because they feel like you're not understanding Kimmy's diagnosis, what she's going through, because all you want to do is make sure you get what you need. Mm -hmm. Are you that much of a sexual person to where, despite what she's going through right now, you still feel like there's a happy medium in terms of her pleasuring you? This is what I'll say because this is very difficult, right? There's a difference between wants and needs, all right? And I'm a person who actually needs sex, not a person who wants sex. Now, at times I want it, but I actually need it. So life throws us curveballs like what we're going through right now. And what Kimmy is doing is admirable as a spouse, to roll over and suffer through it, um, I was hoping it wouldn't be a suffering, you know, <laughs> a sufferable moment, but she rolls over and suffers through it, fakes it all for me. Because at that moment, it's something that she completely didn't desire, right? And it, I kind of look at it as if, and this is, you know, all jokes aside, I look at it as her standing by me while I'm standing by her. Mm -hmm. So... Um, as difficult as it may seem, we should all feel that we would be better people and say, oh, no, I don't want or need sex for however long it takes for you to recover. But we then live in reality where that's not true. 
I want to ask you this. So when you say you need sex, not want to, you need it. Obviously, mm -hmm. there's things we need. We need oxygen. We need water. We need, you know, there's certain things we need in order to be able to live a, a, a healthy life. Mm -hmm. So your need for sex. Talk to me about that. Like, why is it a need? Because without when you need something and you're without it, you're going to suffer health wise. Right. We need mm -hmm. we need things. We need vitamins. We need all those things. Why do you need sex? I need sex like Carlos needs mess. Girl! Ah! <laughs> Come back, <on>, Carlos! <laughs> All right, so y'all heard it. This fool says that there is a difference between wants and need, and that life throws us curveballs. And Kimmy is doing what he feels is admirable by rolling over, suffering through sex, all for him. Did you hear what I said? He says he thinks that it's admirable for Kimmy to roll over and suffer through sex all for him. Now, I truly am utterly confused because I thought Kimmy was the one who had the cancer. Am I mistaken? Isn't Kimmy the one who has the cancer? But yet, he looks at Kimmy like Kimmy is standing by him so he can stand by her. So in order for you to stand by her, let me get it straight. She need to be able to suffer through some unbearable sex because her body going through some changes that she herself don't even understand. She probably going through pain like no other pain. Okay. but. In order for her to stand by you, she got to stand by you now so you can stand by her. Can somebody please make this make sense? And then this BAN got the nerve that when Carlos explains to him that there is a difference in a need and a want like oxygen and water, that this BAN comes back with that whole uh Carlos, I need sex like you need mess. Was that supposed to be funny? Because Carlos thought it was funny, but I didn't think it was funny. I thought Maurice was as ignorant as he was when he said it. How dare you say your wife is standing by you by rolling over and suffering through sex at such a time as this? Boy, I thought your brother was the scum of the earth. But baby, you got him beat. Listen, y'all like this video. Share this video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do that for me. All right? Have a good night.